I put my hoodie on. It's like 58 degrees out here in August in Tennessee. That makes no sense. But I'm here at the gas station getting gas, putting gas in the boat, of course. Um, but I just got done checking the uh, the uh, generating schedules for the lake I'm going to. And they are not generating, well, they're generating slightly right now, but they're not going to be generating until about 10 o'clock real good. So that makes me think is I won't be able to go deep first thing, but I will be able to uh, maybe try some top water, fish shallow for a little bit up in the cover. Um, main lake stuff, of course, because water pinch is probably going to be mid to low 80s. But uh, that's all. I don't really know what to do. But uh, I'll see you guys here in a little bit on the water. Okay, guys. I'm right here idling out. And this looks like this fish. It's a freaking close to four pound bass. If I can get to him. I'm going to try to save him. He looks like he's had better days. I don't know if he's going to be able to be saved or not, but it looks like he was caught deep. I don't know what happened with this fish, guys. I'm actually, I was just idling out, getting ready to blast off. I'm going to try to save him. Yeah, yeah. About four pounds. Yeah. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'll try to save them. Alright guys, as you all saw, there was a fish when I was getting ready to idle out and blast off and you know, start to go fish, and there was a fish floating. And uh, as I was trying to, you know, get that fish put in the live well and start taking care of it, uh, another, another guy came up to me and said, are you trying to save that fish? I said, yeah. And, uh, he went ahead he said i got another one for you and he went over there and got it and brought it back now keep in mind these are two pretty quality fish one that i found was close to four pounds and one he had was about two and a half i threw him in a live well put some g juice in there had my aerators running threw some ice in there and uh put some uh weights on their on their pectoral fins and whatever fins they are you know i call them their anal fins or whatever but uh to help hold them upright you know to kind of relieve that stress well one of them it relieved the stress you know I released him and he slowly swam off but uh, there's a tournament last night I'm pretty sure and it wasn't over till like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning so and I got at the boat ramp a little after 7 30 they were out there for probably five hours roughly five hours floating and uh, they were very distressed the uh, one that was close to four pounder it was like a beat, looked like it was beat up you know it's fins and everything were kind of you know starting to fade away and I thought he wasn't gonna make it well, I threw them in there, you know, let the aerators run for about an hour and a half or so. Well, I released a two and a half pounder. He slowly swam off. His swim bladder, air bladder wasn't very swollen. Well, the one that's close to four pounds, it was swollen. I tried to release him, he'd still float back. So I went and got my fizz needle. And I don't recommend fizzing unless you absolutely have to, but uh, I fizzed that fish. It was like turning a light switch on for that fish. That fish was, I thought he wasn't going to make it. And after I fizzed him, like he was more alive, he was biting on my thumb. And when I pulled the needle out of him, I, you know, I turned him around. That way he can get ready to go, and he just took off. Like he didn't take off really fast, but he swam off a lot better than what he than what he was doing. But I feel very accomplished. I saved two quality fish on this lake. Um, you know, it, it's just you, you got to start taking care of your fish, guys. Whenever you catch them deep. Uh, and you're in a tournament, you gotta take care of them. There's plenty of videos out there to show you how to take care of fish in your live well, but the first thing is when you're in your summer fishing, you gotta get that water coat. I recommend going out and buying a bag of ice, throwing it in your live well, and then when you get to your first when you when you get to your first spot, fill up your live well. Or not when you get to your first spot, when you catch your first fish, fill up your live well. That ice will be cool. Make sure you have G juice in there, your recommended amount. I have a 30 gallon, 32 gallon live well, so I use one ounce of G juice. And uh, if they are floating, make sure you clip their fins. That way they stay upright. That way they're not so distressed and everything. 
but uh, yeah, we're gonna get on, start fishing here. Um, so uh, yeah, that has been a very eventful video so far, but uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get to fishing. Whatever this is, is big. Uh oh, that's why it's big. <laughs> you nasty thing, you. I didn't think it was a bass because never, I've never felt a head shake. Oh, stop barking at me. The wind's blowing. Out of the east, which is not very good. Northeast. They're not generating yet, so I don't expect to catch many, if any, bass until after 10 o'clock. No, oh, he threw it. <laughs> It was a small mouth. In about 15 inches or so. I never felt I never felt him hit it. He was just on it. Made a switch. Probably third cast with it. Second cast with it. Something like that. Switch over to a Texas rig lizard. Oh, he's running right at me. I couldn't catch him. That's a, a smallmouth. That's a good one. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Stop pooping. You're pooping everywhere, dude. Either you're pooping or it's mud. Looks like poop. Dang, he is not coming off. Look at that. Right in the meat. I don't know why you're bleeding. I didn't hook you bad. Not bad. Not bad as a little smallmouth. Pretty thing. The other one was about 15 inches or so, I'm guessing. Let's get a release on him. I think I got a good one. He's decent. Had me wrapped up in grass and he's way out there. I mean, he was way out there. Let's get rid of this salad. I didn't spray that grass. Yeah, I thought he was a lot bigger than that, but I had him wrapped up in grass and stuff. It's still about a, I don't know, 13 inch fish. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here, but before I do, I uh, a couple announcements I have for you guys are, if, you, if you've been living under a rock and just do not know, a uh, Lake Fork guy actually has a brain tumor. And uh, it's, it's a very, very unfortunate thing that he has that and it's, uh, it's actually a horrible thing. I mean, he's he's a good guy from what I've what I've know know from him and everything, and what I've seen on YouTube. I don't know him personally, but uh, us in the fishing community, YouTube fishing community, need to get together and help support him, uh, pray for him, and everything. He actually um, he has a, a T-shirt out that's helping him uh, afford the expenses and everything for medical bills and stuff because he, he has like a brain tumor. He likes to have like brain surgery and all this other kind of stuff and it's just going to be uh, it, it's it's a long road he has to go down and it's going to be very expensive. So uh, if you if you are willing to buy a shirt, if you have the spare money to buy a shirt, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's, it's a very cool design. I, I, I bought one and uh, I'll have it here soon and you know, it's a great, it's a good design. It's, it says make every cast count. You never know when you won't be able to make another cast. And 
unfortunately he's going through that and he needs his prayer needs these prayers and everything and uh also, um, I will be at the 2017 Forest Wood Cup at Lake Murray Saturday and Sunday. Um, I won't be able to be there Thursday or Friday or Friday or I don't know when it starts, but I won't be able to be there for the full event. I'll just be there for the weekend. Um, I will be in. The, I'll be walking around, you know, talking to people, talking to other people and stuff like that. Um, I'll also be at the Shane's Bait Booth when he is there, and Shane LaHue, LaHue, I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, man, um, he's actually fishing in the, uh, in the cup, he actually had a pretty good year, he finished like sixth in the Angler of the Year points, if I'm not mistaken, and he had a pretty good year, so, uh, I'm pulling for him in the, uh, Forest Wood Cup, and I'm also pulling for, uh, Wesley Strader, he's a, the local boy around here that, you know, uh, he's funny, and everybody knows Wesley Strader, he's a goofball, and, uh, I posted a giveaway, a couple days ago on my channel uh, it's the Pond Hopper Nation giveaway you guys need to go check that video out you have till August 23rd to um, register for it for the giveaway and uh, if you haven't watched it you can see what I'm giving away and everything but that's all I have for you guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already check out all my social media links all my partners links the t-shirt for Lake Fort guy and the articles and all that stuff um, yeah that's all I have for you guys and until next time Catch on big.